color this time. Okay, so, hi, I'm uh, Diren Jin, uh, Richard Shurfu, and this is Jackson, your Chinese name? Yeah, I'm Jia Wen. his name in English is Jackson, and we're going to talk a little bit about the energy in Wing Chun. So, first of all, we'll start out with uh, Xiaonianto, and uh, some of, uh, I see a lot of videos on the internet, people talking about, well, this Wing Chun is internal, this Wing Chun is external. Uh, and I'd just like to uh, kind of clarify my own views on this subject. Not everybody has their own idea. But uh, and in actuality, that would be like, if you say something's internal, sometimes it's external. That's like saying, well, I should be uh, a stand on my left leg for my whole life or my right leg. In reality, you stand on both your legs, and so sometimes you use internal elements in your fighting and sometimes external elements. Uh, a lot of people think it's things you see beneath the surface, but in reality, all Wing Chun movements have yin and yang, so they have uh, the soft element and the hard element, an element that's not moving, which, you, so in other words, for example, when you're, when someone pushes on your bong cell, and, and I turn my horse about, you know, maybe a, a degree, I've already wound him up here, so now I can just basically Maybe we should go over here, I think it's still too close. If I wind my element like a bong cell, and I, I feel like I cannot bong cell. So he may, you may only see on a shonento someone doing this, literally maybe a degree, and then you touch him in the right spot, like on a transverse angle, like maybe 45, roughly 45 degrees, or pop him with a pie. This is the inside element as you're setting him up, by winding with your horse and the other element is because you resist you move a yang element which is your hand or your uh, whatever you can access on that side of his body with a connected shape in other words you you're moving your joints in a connected way through a good position so for example uh, Fu So would go to here and this would be okay right? to go to here but to go to here would be disconnecting your shoulder and tightening your shoulder and unlocking your shoulder from the natural energy of your body. In other words, you're, in Chinese they call that pai lie, to align your joints. Whether, most traditional styles align their joints, including Yong Chen, Xin Yi, Ba Gua, and, and all alike. Uh, and there's different ideas about what aligned is, of course. Now, Yong Chen is like a small bridge, uh, uh, Generally, uh, you move your joints in much smaller circles, but the same idea applies. You're aligning your internal energy so that you can relax in all these different positions. So small movements where you feel someone resisting you, for example, if I, if I, if I roll my hands like this, I'll make it a little bit bigger, and he fights me over here, like if I roll a hand here and I'm on a horse and he fights me there, moving... On the opposite line, we'll, we'll, we'll throw him or move him away from you. So it's not really so much how much you move, it's that you feel he resists you. In other words, it's not about the chi, it's about how, what you feel in the moment. Uh, which means you live in the moment and you, you're happy and aware in the moment. Uh, when you're not in the moment, you feel sad or unhappy and so on. But this principle applies to martial arts too, because when you're fighting, you have to when you're fighting, you have to live in the moment. You have to react to techniques in the moment. Whether you're moving your body or punching in an external or internal way is all description to me. You're using your mind to talk about something that's happening in the moment, which is beyond words. So, so to say something's internal or external is all adjectives describing the world. And uh, it's really not that helpful when you're fighting. You should just fight and naturally adapt your techniques to whoever you're fighting. So good fighters always adapt and they're always changing their emotions and their techniques to call. You can be beaten by an external technique even though you're, so, you're a so-called internal stylist. So a lot of people get trapped into these ideas about what martial arts are. And it kind of limits your approach. You want to take the best from from any style and apply it to into, into your own art. So, so when we're rolling with someone, when I feel like a bong in Shamindo, when I feel like a bong cell, he resists me on a bong cell. 
I change to tan cell and ex extend internally my mind, he will be moved by the bong cell. So in other words, if I can't move a bong cell, it can be worked conversely, I can't move the bong cell, I can move my the other hand, whether you call it internally or externally, the fact that I can't move here means I can move here. Right now, when I can't fuso, because fuso is a circle, right? When I when I can't fuso, I can I can obviously if you can't jump cell or uh, sorry fuso this way, you can roll this way. When you can't do this, you can do this. So is that internal, external? You have to feel his reaction to your moving arm, right? So feeling his reaction, for example, I turn my horse this way, turn my horse this way, like on a, from a young ma to a doijal ma, which is basically a front a goat riding stance to a sidling stance. When someone doesn't allow me to turn, you go back. You go back to your yang ma, right? You go back. In other words, if I can't go this way, I go back. He doesn't let me go that way, right? That's my dantian, my center of gravity turning. So I turn my force back to the to the yang ma, and we'll release him. So this is kind of like, hey, I can't. I, he don't want. He doesn't want to give me what I want. And you go back with your horse, not your hands. But obviously, if your hands can move in a relaxed way. Uh, you can release energy from any part of your body. So to say that it's just your horse or your hands is kind of not the point. The point is to feel what can you move. When I can't move, when I can't move my, my arms and when I'm rolling, he may lock up on me. And I can't move forward or uh, move my arms in a, in a direction, say, towards the center or towards his body. It doesn't have to be exactly center, more like his... This is where his tit is right now. I move towards that, I cannot move it, right? I can start moving him around with my Zal Sibi. As he's, he's fighting a circle this way, if he fights a circle this way, I can use the other circle to take him in another direction. So Wing Chun has all these circles that are, uh, for example, they used, uh, Chinese used to use Jing Mu Sui Huo Tu, which is, uh, the five elements to describe Wing Chun up to probably 19th century certain styles, certain groups of Wing Chun people used in for, uh, used Ba Gua, Ba Gua Zhang and uh, I Ching to describe Wing Chun in some ways. So you got uh, Chonindo would be water. So they would use you know relaxing energy, pushes on my arm and and I relax completely and then I I start to tan. So normally when I can't tan, I bomb and I relax to different shapes using my tan and bomb. Now if I really relax, I don't need to do that. I just need to move my horse, right? He fights me, right? And I cannot bong cell, cannot move my arm to bong cell. I just feel resistance. So I relax and I can't move. Once you can't move your hand and it's all sit, you just use your horse. So Wing Chun has principles. Uh, the Koja would be Bai Xing Bu Bai Ma. So if you can't move your hat, your arms, or you can't use a shape like a Bong Sao, Tan Sao, Jump Sao, uh, and so on, Shun, Biao, whatever, to move, then you use your horse or your Dantian to move him. So once you feel, this is based on the principle of the feeling. You feel you cannot move. If I cannot bong sao someone, I'm kind of locked on my body, right? I can move my horse. Like I can use angles or his resistance to an angle, right? I, I go here and then I move the tzal to here. So I went that way and because he resisted, I touched him on a point on his body with feeling where he's the most vulnerable. So this is your sensing of his internal energy where he's the most vulnerable, or his internal response. So, how you use energy is important. I mean, you just don't, uh, you gotta, when you're driving a car, you have to segue into the traffic at the right speed, at the right timing. You have to have coordinated motions of your whole body. 
So to say people that do internal arts are somehow internal because they're doing the same thing you are. They're uh, coordinating their body, using their actions, they're having, uh, they're aligning their joints. Every good martial artist will do this, and to say it's internal or external isn't really that helpful. But definitely, uh, going back to the Jin Mu Suevo too. So, Wing Chun's using soft positions. He punch, if I want to take this energy, I have to relax. If he punches me, punch, and I relax, I can hang my weight, Ding Tian Li, punch, and then, you know, give it back to him. Uh, not necessarily at the same time, although you can do it at the same time. This power is coming at your body, so Shaninto basically takes the power and aligns it, uh, moves it off your body, so let's uh, Xie Li, you basically bleed off the strength, and at the same time you, you bridge. So even if you get hit, uh, right? Uh, when you bridge, you're using some kind of a circle, some kind of spiral energy to bridge. So most Wing Chun, almost uh, pretty well all Wing Chun movements have a spiral. So in other words, if we're rolling with someone, even in Shanin To, right, and I tan cell, when I fail to tan, I will spiral to bomb. When I lap cell, I'm dropping my energy down. Failure to lap cell gives me, gives me gun show. In other words, when you fail to complete an action, right, you, you switch to another action where uh, he's going up, so I help him go up and I switch and I attack in a variety of ways. So actually, it has internal and external elements all the time. Your body is moving, it's external. You have external, external energy. You have to move your muscles. So you could say it's external, but actually there's internal elements going on. You're feeling, you're sensing, your jing is moving all the time in your body. All shamanto motions have jing, so failure to complete an action internally, you feel, hey, he's resisting, right? Well, you know, I didn't really move that much, but he's moved over there. I'm not trying to totally, I'm not trying to actually push out too much power. I'm just talking about how things work right now. But the water element in Wing Chun, uh, shall we say, is Shun Into. Now, Shun Chao is more about spring, about wood. So if, I, if he relaxes and gets his shoulder back, he can use move your shoulders out. See, he can move his shoulders out. So when he relaxes and come in, just try to relax and drop your hips more. So when I pull him, this foot, right, say I pull on a bong cell, this is pointing at my center of gravity, he relaxes and comes in. Now the power will come out to me and he, he won't feel much. So now he's using an external element with the internal uh, sensing of my power. He's relaxing, he can move his shoulders, which is going to be an external element, but he has to do it in a relaxed, dynamic way where he aligns his joints. Uh, feeling his internal energy. So there's always going to be some part of internal, some part external, and the more people train, the uh, more internal they get, if they can feel their inter internal uh, energy, which you get by doing shamanto and meditation, and uh, yoga, and uh, qigong, qigong, and so on. It's not per se that, as we should be worried we're cutting our head off here, uh, so when you're rolling, the idea of Churcho is to relax so that he tanda meda. You have to hit. Right? Now you can pai da, lap sal, and keep punching and so on, based on what I give him as a reaction. So if I use power, he can easily jishu jishu a gongjiya. Gongjiya. So the difference I guess between uh Shun Chao and uh Right now I feel power. The difference between Shen Chao and uh, Shen Endo is Shen Chao, uh, Shen Endo is more about water energy and uh, Shen Endo is, uh, and, uh, uh, sorry, Shen Endo is more about water energy and Shen Chao or the second form is more about uh, uh, wood energy. So uh, again I'm using the Mandarin designations to be Silum Tao for uh, this first form and Shen Endo and uh, uh, Shun Chao would be Chum Q. So when someone pulls on you in Chum Q, he pulls on me, blah, I can use spirals to come forward and use my center of gravity. 
and that might be an intermediate way to deal with energy. So, for example, so I might laugh someone at 12 pi. So, you're just moving your center of gravity, you're using spirals to release the energy that we might describe as wood. Now, uh, Gouger is a bit different. Gouger, you're talking about metal and fire. So, originally something, for example, if I gum sell someone and he fights me, I, I use metal. This is a chopping technique, more like metal, like a knife. Now, at some point, when someone, you start relaxing more in Gouger, you start to get the fire elements. So, for example, he might, he might grab me, and I try to tan, and I just vibrate my way to the position. You know, I just hold. So in other words, he grabs me, and I pie, I feel like I can't move, I start to move in a vibrated manner. It just, he grabbed me, and I vibrate my way. In other words, you're rotating your internal mechanics in a relaxed way. And then it has physical, external elements and internal elements. When you're, whether your body moves or not, you, what you see on the surface is not exactly always what's, what's uh, transmitting someone. I'm vibrating. I'm vibrating him, so you might see an internal vibration, but perhaps, perhaps it's not what's going on. Perhaps it's the, the movement of the horse which is moving him. It might be a, a small movement of your dantian that moves him. Just because you see a big movement here doesn't mean that's where he's actually what really affected his body internally. You're trying to affect him internally. You're not, you're trying to maintain a state of quietude in your own body. Internal arts don't work because you're putting out energy to him. It's because you're letting the energy, you're feeling the moment and releasing in the moment. And it affects manifest to him because he's not relaxing. So it's different than saying, oh, I'm trying to put out energy, I'm trying to push out more chi to someone. It's nothing to do with it. Chi's always there. He can't relax and feel your chi, and you can. You're more relaxed than him. So when he uses power, I, I can easily move on him because I'm not trying to attack him. I'm internally sensing him and me in this reality right now. So it gets very mystical when you talk about it. What's external, what's internal? It's all nonsense as far as I'm concerned. Now, a lot of people can say, oh, you're not internal, you're not external, and all that. They have their own ideas, which are locked, they're locked into their idea of what Wen Chun might be, or what Tai, tai Chi might be, or Shi Ba Gua, and so on. He locks out, right? Now I feel power there, I can go. If I feel, if he doesn't use power, I need to. I, I might use Zhao Si to move him, so now I feel power. In other words, you move your hands, he moves his hands, move hands, oh, well, Tu Li, go. Fang Song, remember you must Fang Song, Dong So. Fang Song, Dong So, Bao Pai, right? Fang Song, Dong Habu. Yeah, now he can move me because I use power. You need to feel the reaction of your enemy, no matter if he's external or external. Don't get caught up in this internal, internal nonsense. If you don't use your feeling, you can't fight. When you cross the road on a busy thoroughfare, you're always using your feeling. A car is coming, i got to go at the right time. It doesn't matter if you're internal or external, you have to cross at the right time. You have to align your body, you have to judge the distance so that you can cross without getting hit by other cars. So when you're fighting, this is always happening. There's always these external elements and internal elements happening. And to say someone's internal or external is not really helpful. But nevertheless, you know, the older Chinese, they used a lot of ideas about, hey, well, energy. Obviously, if someone's holding you in a spot, right, and I want to cancel someone, if I vibrate, it's like I'm a jackhammer. He can't actually fix my position, right? So if I vibrate internally, I can move tan easily. If I vibrate my jing internally, anywhere in my body, that sets a wave up to his body. And you will say, you people that believe in internal arts, that that's in, internal and so on, or external, and you're going to have your conception of that. But in reality, I'm relaxing. I relax, I feel, I sense, at the same time I go. 
I'm talking about it now, so you're going to say, well, you're doing this and this in a physical sense, but in reality, I relax and I, and I move. So is it internal, external? Sometimes you'll say it's external, sometimes you'll say it's internal. But Jing, no matter how you express it, is you must relax. So you move fast or slow. He, he, he uses power, I can move slowly on him. I can, use, I can go fast on him. The point being is that you don't necessarily always go your fastest or your slowest. You have to adapt to the traffic. Someone's coming at you with techniques. And they use power, you have a chance. You need to adapt at the right time. Whether it's external or internal is irrelevant because you still have to bridge his attacking punch. If I'm thinking, oh, I need to fog on here, he's going to punch and I have to bridge. Uh, a lot of people make the mistake of trying to tan sell someone like out here so the hook will come. In reality, he punch, I need to catch. If the tan is going to work, it has to be tight. Now look at this. This is just like a boxing guard. Oh, tan sell. Well, it's the same. Am I boxing now? People have these stylistic ideas like your body should be, tan has got to be there. Well, no, there's tan cell. Looks like a boxing guard to me. If I'm in a peekaboo guard, maybe my gloves are a little closer, a little farther away, depending. I can crunch my head, maybe. But nevertheless, that's time cell. Again, people have this idea that Wing Chun is somehow different from other martial arts. But there are lots of boxing uh, guards in Wing Chun. So, uh, Churcho, you always relax. He lops out. He can, right now, I'm not letting him shred. So, uh, shren, cannot shren, relax, bring your shoulders back. I'm speaking Chinese to him so he gets it, right? Now, fang song shren, fang song shren, tzu lai. In other words, shoot out, kiao, kiao tzu lai, go. If I use power, you can use it at the right moment. He must relax to do that. He must bring his shoulders out, and then when he biao, I'll do it from the side here, when he bow, right? He has to relax and hang his weight, and you have a horse. And now when he relaxes, his hands should shake when he arrives. In other words, his whole, his joints, his whole internal linkage, because he's moving, will vibrate. If he doesn't, if it doesn't move, in other words, you get out here and you tighten your arm and you, you make your muscles stick out, you're basically using external power, and you'll block, basically break or block your, uh, block your motion. So all wind shot movements depend on relaxation. I feel power, I release by relaxing. I arrive relaxed, whether it looks internal or external, it depends sometimes on how you use your internal energy, and whether you can feel your internal energy. Your feeling that it's internal is, is, is just a description. But nevertheless, certainly sometimes things look more external, but they actually can be internal and external at the same time. So, uh, Gaini Lee, I use power. Relax, relax first. Relax. Bao Pai, relax. Now he can give the power back. If he tightens there and tries to use push, okay, no power. Must relax. Align joints, relax, be all tight, don't the tight knee. Okay, I use power, ball fine. Now he can move me. If he doesn't do that, it won't work. It will locally work, but not much. It, it might get some effects because you might have a better angle. And people say, well, Wing Chun's all about angles. Wing Chun's not really about so much about angle. It's about feeling. So in other words, I can't, I can't move. So I switch to I'll sit. When I can't move here, I can move there. So, in other words, wherever you can't move, you can move your hands in other ways, right? I can't, I can't jump sell him, so I can lop sell. I can't lop sell, so I can give it back to him. Uh, I can't move my hands at all. Maybe he holds me, tied me up. Well, I can't move my hands at all. First, I have to relax. Maybe get shorter so that I come over here so. If his elbows are short, come closer. Then yeah, now he can lock me, right? Because you're close to your down tin. This is the point of power here. I need to relax, right? So I relax, okay. 
if I can if I can relax and relax my joints, right? Now I just need to turn. Because I already I already made him resist my internal body mechanics. Right? For example, a lot of times you get in a young mind, you get your foot on a, an inside like this. Right? So like I might be in a front facing stance and I lift up my mechanics, he's fighting me, and I turn this way. He's already, you see how his balance got broken that way? No, he doesn't want to go there. So then you go back. You're going, you're turning your body, he doesn't want to go. So this is all found in all young mother. You can, you can be inside someone's leg like this, right? You can be back, right? This way, right? He pushes you to this leg, right? And now you turn this way. And you just rotate maybe a couple of degrees, and you can release because, right, you're on your back, someone's on your back, he's pushing you to this leg, right? So you're turning your dantian this way, putting your weight into this leg, relaxing, keeping your head up, right? You're not bent over like this. Old guys tend to bend over, but you keep your alignment straight, right? And you just rotate with him. So he doesn't want, he doesn't want to let you go, right? Right? He doesn't want to let me go this way, so I might go back. Now I'm already facing, I can attack. But uh, if he's holding me and I can't move, right? I can't move this way. I can't go this way. This way I can go. So here you have the elements of uh, Shen Chao, where you're rotating your horse. And you might be, he'll, he'll block your motion in one direction, you go the other direction. So in fighting, uh, in fighting, when someone punches you, they are lap cell, and, and I can't move him, I moved him, say I can't move him this way, I will go the other way. So you don't get to choose what salsa or what, what techniques you use. Salsa is uh, techniques in Chinese. You don't get to choose what techniques you're going to use to fight someone. He bridges punch somehow, and you have to bridge in the moment. And uh, whether you're using uh, your internal mechanics or not, of course, if you use internal mechanics, it's much better. Your, because internal mechanics, then you can, uh, trans you can put your energy from any part of your body and so on and so forth. So, uh, gongji, attack, right? Now I have power here. I feel power here. Right? If I have power here and I push and he pushes back, right? Because I have my weight, if he pushes me back to this leg, the sweeps are easy. Obviously, if he pushes me back to this leg, I can circle this foot around and help him to go where he wants to go. That's the feeling of his internal mechanics and my internal mechanics. I need to control my internal, uh, my joints and utilize the energy in an, in an effective way without using strength, of course. Uh, so, Takongji, right? So, sweeps are actually quite fast. You can get hit. He hit me, right? Hit. Right? And now, you might sweep uh, or not, depending on whether or not you can control your internal response to getting hit. Because uh, Bialger techniques, for example, Bialger techniques in Wing Chun I often say are like uh, emergency techniques. So what is, what is an emergency? You have, you have to use things like sword techniques and uh, uh, things, techniques we're gonna call fire, right? Whole. Fire is, completely changes everything. You get a flamethrower and you basically attack them with a flamethrower. In other words, you go from a really bad position of getting hit, for example, he pulls me down, uh, come here, he pulls me down, and I want to decisively change the fight in one move. Tala wa shala, pull me down, and I've lost my balance. So he's going to punch me, he's going to take me down, he's going to do what he wants. So when he pulls me down, right, I shall I, and now I have, I have a uh, emergency technique to bring someone down to the ground, perhaps smack their head on the pavement if they don't know how to fall. 
and uh, go to uh, ground fighting or Gibanji in Chinese. So, so in other words, uh, a lot of techniques in Wen Chan in Xuanchao or uh, Biaoji, sorry, uh, Bilji are based on uh, redirecting or uh, emergency emergency techniques when you lose the bridge. So he punches me and I bow first. He punches me, this is going to hit me. So I must redirect this energy and I may, may or may not go to his eyes or his throat and so on. And now he's adapted. So this is a quick change from total failure to total success. So in some way this is kind of like using a knife or metal or uh, uh, using fire. So the ancient, uh, not ancient so much, but Qing Dynasty Chinese used the Bagua system to describe Wing Chun. And there's nothing wrong with using ancient Chinese systems of philosophy to describe Wing Chun techniques. It works pretty good. That doesn't mean it's real, like there's actually these elements of uh, water, Jin Mu Sui Wu to metal, Jin, metal, Jin, metal, Jin Wu, wood, wood is Wu, Jin Mu Sui, water, Wu, fire, Tu is earth. You could use Jin Mu Sui Wu to, to describe Wing Chun techniques, and it's a pretty good way to describe things. How the energy transforms in your body, how you transform the energy coming at you from, from the opponent. Uh, he might, for example, Biao might be, uh, he's punching you, you outside and then you go in. So in other words, you out, fingers are pointing at his, the opponent, and you go in to his uh, possible vital points if he doesn't move or react in one action. And this is contained in the form. Uh, and this is a quick change. So there are lots of ways to apply Biao, and way outside the scope of this video, I just wanted to talk more about the internal and internal uh, ideas that people get in their minds about what in martial arts, and I think it's not really that helpful. You just relax more and more, and every martial artist in any style will get more and more internal as his body mechanics and his uh, techniques progress. Uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Oh. Uh.